good early evening, everyone. Uh, just got done with progressive trivia. Yeah, you'll find out over there. I have a little over an hour between now and when I need to uh, queue up to get into tonight's uh, showing a flight. Unfortunately, yesterday I was a bit tired during the performance, so I missed uh, just a smidge of it. So I'm going to go tonight. But in this time, I thought it would be fun to check out, really, uh, some of the luxury shopping uh, they have here on board. Uh, it's uh, Cartier, Hublot, and Bulgari. Well, let's go take a peek. But that was a smidge disappointing. Uh, Cartier and Hublot is all watches. I still don't understand this whole thing about watches and cruise ships. Uh, Bulgari had some jewelry, all uh, ladies' jewelry, along with more watches. The biggest disappointment was, of course, uh, no photography allowed, so I uh, can't show you what was in there in case you're interested, but I guess you can always book a cruise to find out or just go to any mall uh, where they have those same stores. But there's another store downstairs on the promenade, so we're going to go and check that out. There's a couple of, of retail outlets. There's the, the Norwegian region, oh boy. Uh, there's the uh, Royal Caribbean store. I'm sure we'll be allowed to take pictures in there. So I'll, I'll show you what interesting stuff they have. Out here on the boardwalk, we have uh, Surf Shack, a little uh, surf store. Let's go in and see what kind of stuff uh, they have. Well, all right, Quicksilver. That's uh, something I would expect to find. Uh, Nike. Oh, Herschel. Okay, I don't really see this too often. And Roxy, and of course, uh, a wall of sunglasses. <laughs> Perfectly appropriate for a cruise ship. Ah, oh, Ray-Bans, Oakley's, Maui Jim. I think that's all I see. I see anything. Uh, sort of strikes my fancy. Well, they got all the typical stuff. Nothing, nothing terribly special, but you know what? If you forget an essential like this, they have you all covered. Now this is ladies, men's over there, and oh, ah, here are the uh, fun sunglasses. Let's see, what do we have? Uh, okay. Oh, plenty of uh, bug eyes, you know, hair. Oh, does this, it doesn't move. Okay, then. I guess we'll have to move. Oh, okay. Those are fun. Ah, and this is where you get your ultimate abyss merchandise. Looks like they have t shirts and sweatshirts. Uh, I don't see anything else. Ah. There you go. Also, very essential. All the sunblock you would need. As so long as everybody doesn't forget it. And here we are at Sugar Beach. I don't know if this really qualifies as a store, but they have fun stuff to sell, like bananas. Oh, those look like the QBs that we saw at Six Flags. Some hats. And what are these? Pin Piney Pong? Ooh, I've never heard of those. Uh, some lints and oh my! A giant Rice crispy Treat. Now why hasn't anyone thought about that before? Hmm. And all the sugary, the hard sugar candy that some people like. Not me. Not, not my thing. Caramel. That's what I like. All right, this is undiscovered since I don't really see many people walking around, but if you want the actual good ice cream, yeah. this is where you have to come. Yeah, upstairs they have the, the cheap soft serve and uh, they have ice cream in the buffet, but they don't have rainbow sprinkles, which makes it kind of pointless. Yeah, Skittles and other goodies. Yes, those are actual Pez dispensers. Uh, it looks like cotton candy. Things? What are these? Princess Sparkle. Um, okay, not sure what that is. Uh, sister, you probably know what that is. And then, of course, the, the gummies and 
the uh, little beach buckets and oh, lollies. America, heck yeah. If you need your stuffed animal fix, this is also the place to come. All right, so ice cream and stuffed animals. Okay, just get rid of all the hard candy and this place is amazing. They even have, look at this. It's Camilla the Flamingo. Ah, oh, isn't she adorable? I wish I'd known she would have been my date for Halloween. Oh, maybe next time. Oh, now look at that little guy. Our next stop on the shopping tour of the ship is the collection. That's uh, here on the Royal Promenade. And it uh, looks like they have, oh, uh, I guess, uh, all sorts of accessories, handbags, jewelry, wallets. It's all for the ladies, apparently. <laughs> so, uh, probably won't be in here too long. But, uh, okay. And some uh, Michael Kors. What else we got over here? Uh, it's Rebecca Minkoff over here. Oh, Kate Spade. And, uh, oh, some nice decorations. Ooh. And an emergency exit. Wow, this store really has everything. All right, next up, I'm not sure, I think maybe the Royal Shop? Or, uh, there's more jewelry over there. All right, let's go find out. Our next stop is Regalia Watches. I wonder what they sell in here. And note, the people here are super friendly and perfectly okay with showing everybody uh, some of the fine merchandise they, no doubt, sell. Looks like it's mostly watches. Yep, the tags. All right, that's no surprise. And what do we have here? Breitling, yep. And uh, I presume Tissot, eh, probably from the French side. And, oh, well, those are pretty. Movados, Citizens. Boulevard. Well, let's see if we can find out uh, if they have anything that I might actually wear. These are fun. Uh, they're yeah, Gucci's. They yes. Huh? At least they have some character, you know, and are noticeable. All right, so you have these. These are tags. And you see, they're just like, they're big and they're super busy and you can see the mechanisms. And they're they probably weigh well, a pound and a half. So I mean, if you want to exercise, I guess they're a good thing. Then you have the Movados, which are just so beautifully simple. This is this I would wear. That was our visit to the Royal Caribbean shop. So if you're looking for anything that's branded by the company or by the ship, uh, they have some, you know, those nice inaugural season items. Uh, that's where you gotta go. I think they'll probably have them out here on the promenade uh, sometime. Right now it's just watches uh, and handbags. Oh, that's the handbag sale. Um, haven't seen anything like that, but well, they're always open. Yes, there are more shops. Here we are at Royal Caribbean Port Merchants. Mostly uh, duty free. Uh, yeah, I guess liquor and things like that. But they do have a small sundries rack in addition to everything you would normally find like cigarettes and booze and giant candy. All the things that make us happy in life. Sheridan's Coffee Layered Liqueur. So this is an interesting one. It's one of these products that I've only ever seen on cruise ships. 
I've never seen it anywhere on land, not in a bar, not in anyone's house, nowhere. Only on cruise ships and only in the duty free. I've never even seen it at a bar on a ship. So if somebody knows what it's like, send me a message. Let me know how it is. Maybe someday I'll buy one and it'll be this like weird, oh, we'll do a party around it. Because I, I guarantee you, everyone else is in the same place. They've seen it on cruise ships, but they've never actually tried it. Sheridan's Coffee Layered Liqueur. Next stop is the, uh, let's see, rather abruptly named Royal Shops. I've been in here before. It's uh, cosmetics, fragrances, more duty-free stuff. Uh, sorry, I'm not gonna be in here that long because all the fragrances give me a headache. So we're just gonna walk through real quick and give a quick peek at what you can get in here. Although it's really no different than what you could get in any mall store. Uh, I've heard of all these brands, although I couldn't tell you what any of these things are used for. But if you find yourself on a ship missing, I don't know, a piece of your Estee Lauder collection, this is where you can take care of that. Across from the Royal Shops is Regalia Jewelry. So yeah, down there we had Regalia Watch and here we have Regalia Jewelry. All right, question, the big question. Do they have any, do they have a men's collection here? Because they never seem to have men's jewelry on these ships. Very disappointing. No. No. Yeah, too girly. Too grandma. Ladies. 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 And more ladies. Well, we're here in Regalia Jewelry in this uh, beautiful store on this very, very large cruise ship. And one thing is similar to all the other cruise ships I've been on. And that with all this jewelry and all this space, the men's section is this. And one thing over there and one little thing over there. So guys, uh, if you're looking for some bling, uh, you're gonna have to do it elsewhere. What I thought was going to be our last stop on the shopping tour, Solera Beauty, turns out to be just another entrance to the duty-free shop that we already visited. So if this looks familiar, uh, it should because it's the exact same place I was just at two stops ago. The show just got out. I was about to wrap up our shopping tour of Symphony of the Seas when I remembered there is one more very special location that uh, we are going to go see. You may have already seen it, but it deserves its own segment. So we're on our way there now. Then we're gonna go drop the phone, charge it up, and do our rounds of photos well, our first round of photos for the evening. And, oh yeah, today apparently is the white party. Uh, maybe I'll switch it up. I could wear my formal outfit tonight, which is mostly white, but not exactly. Oh, we'll see. But, on to shopping. In case you were wondering, yes, we are on our way to visit the very enigmatically named retail. Definitely the last stop on our retail tour here aboard Symphony of the Seas is, um, I don't know, uh, on the map it just has the logo. So I guess it's the Crown and Anchor store, but this is neat. They are all automated machines. Presumably open 24 hours uh, while we're at sea, maybe not in port. And there's three of them, so there's health essentials, 
the Splash Store, and the Tech Stop. So what do we have in here? We have uh, a speaker, some walkie-talkies, a power bank, uh, another speaker, uh, batteries, USB cable, and a Nintendo DS. Oh, and a splash bag for your phone. Over here in the splash store, okay, yes, they're for the beach. Uh, skin creams, uh, sunblock, lip flops. And up top, yeah, more creams, little goggles for the pool, and uh, sunglasses, I presume. And finally, over in health essentials, yeah, all the sundries that you would need, you know, shaving cream, shavers, uh, various medicines down here, uh, yes, including, oh, emergency, I could use some of that, and, um, oh, these kinds of things. Anyway, wow, that's a pretty good selection. Well, this finally concludes our tour of all the retail shops here on Symphony of the Seas. Every one of the shopkeepers was super friendly and helpful. Uh, even the staff, you know, down in the luxury shops, Cartier. I could tell, you know, they would have been fine with it, but, you know, all those corporate rules, I'm sure they have to enforce. Uh, it's too bad. Uh, I'm not going to try and sneak around in there. If you want to see what they have at Cartier, just go to any mall. And, you know, it's available everywhere now. It's not like it's really that special anymore. So, well, that's it. Uh, time to go and uh, got to charge the phone. Get cleaned up and ready for dinner. Well, actually, get ready for photos. Then dinner. No, then the show. Then dinner. So that's what I'm doing tonight. Yeah, back to Wonderland. <laughs>